And hello everybody, welcome back to Real Top of Bush Lines. I am Real Top. I'm going to bring you a predictions video today for the 22-23 Premier League season. We are very close to that new season. It is just two days away and it's time to predict who's going to finish where. Let's predict the table. Because when we do, to, to, by doing this, we give ourselves something to look back on at the end of the season and see if we were right or you were wrong. Some of you may be a little bit shocked by some of my predictions. Some of you may may not. Okay. Uh, if you if if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure everyone's leaving a like as well. If you you wouldn't mind hitting the notification bell when you hit the subscribe button and share our channel around so that we can get that sub count uh, skyrocketing. Moving on then. So here we go. Yeah. So as you can see here, I have got a bit of a tier list, if you like. So what I'm going to do so we've got champions, second and third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth to tenth, eleventh to fourteenth, fifteenth to seventeenth, and relegation. So I'm going to start off quite swiftly with the three clubs that I think are going to get relegated. Now, um, the club at the start will be the club that is bottom in this case, and then the club at the other end is the one that finishes 18th. So, Villa, I think it's time for them to go. This is their season to get relegated. Bye-bye, Villa. You are going to finish right bottom. Second team, Bournemouth. I think that Bournemouth. I've never wanted. I did. I never wanted them to go up, and yeah, I just want to see them go. I think they will go. And there you go. Nothing more to say other than I don't think we'll stay up. Final team. It's a tricky one to call the final team. It really is a tricky one, tricky one to call. But I am going to put it down. Mm. It's a really tricky one to call. I'm going to... Ooh. Everton were clinging on for dear life. Southampton, they're not going to get relegated. I think Forrest and Fulham will stay up. I can't see... I mean, Leeds are a bit like Everton. They'll come close. But they managed to salvage it, I think, as well with some of the signings they've got. I'm going to have to put Everton down, yeah. So that's my bottom three. Aston Villa, Bournemouth and Everton. It was a tight call. But yeah, Everton last season, they really struggled in the Premier League. They were on the ropes. So I've put them there. Um, 15th to 17th. Right, let's have a 17th place. I think that will be Leeds 17th. I think Leeds will pretty much do another one of those jobs where they finish just outside the relegation zone but have a really bad season. Again, yeah. Although they have passed the second season syndrome. But yeah, you can never be sure with this team. I'm going to put them 17th. You know, yeah. uh, 16th, I think it'll be Brentford in this case. Brentford, the Bees, they did quite well last season. I don't think they'll suffer off second syndrome, second season syndrome, and I think that uh, they have enough, they have enough of resources, um, and they have a very very good manager, in which can help them stay up. So yeah, Brentford 16th. And then Fulham, 15th. I think they'll do an alright job. They won the championship pretty easy last season. 
At the start, it was Bournemouth dominating, but then Bournemouth dropped off. Fulham absolutely went ahead by 10 points or something like that. And yeah, they won the league in a really, really good style. And I can't see them, you know, getting relegated easily this season. You know, I think 60, I don't know, I think 15th is a bit too generous. But what would you know? Um, I'm going to put Forest for 14th. I don't think they will finish 14th. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to swap Forest and Brentford, actually. I think that Forest will struggle. You know, they're, they're newcomers, aren't they? So, I think that they'll struggle a little bit, you know, and they'll definitely have some hefty defeats. I think that Brentford, I've got, I've got a little bit more. You know, they know a little bit more. I think Forrest, it'll be a new challenge for him. You know, Steve Cooper is re is. I think he's ready for the Premier League, but I don't think Forrest are quite ready yet to, you know, finish anywhere uh, higher than higher than sixteenth. So that's the reason why I swapped them and Brentford around. I think they'll do well, but I think they will struggle in the sen in a sense of the table. So after Brentford, it's going to have to be Crystal Palace, isn't it, really? No doubt about it. Palace, they had an alright season last season. Patrick Vieira's come in and he's done the job that, you know, he's done a great job. You know, they they got enough points to stay up. They got brilliant results. They didn't concede a single goal against Manchester City. And, they, mm, and so forth. Yeah, they've there's not been too they they weren't too bad last season. Palace, I think, thirteenth is okay for them. I think thirteenth just sounds about just right for Palace. Next, I'm gonna put. Uh, mm, I'm going to put Newcastle next in 12th. I think Newcastle will have an alright season. They uh, had a, a bad season to start off with, but anyhow, you know, after mate, having his transfer window, turned them around, they got some results, they played a lot better, and they climbed up the table and saved themselves from a relegation. And I think that next season they should not be in a relegation battle. I'd be surprised if they weren't. And I think, 30, and I think 12th sounds fair. So, so far we've got Aston Villa 20th. Um, Bournemouth 19th. Everton 18th. Leeds 17th. Forest 16th. Fulham 15th. Brentford 14th. Palace 13th. Newcastle 12th. Um, and then we'll finish that one, that, that one off with Southampton. Who I think will finish 11th. Ralph Hassan, who was a good manager. They've got good players. James Ward Prowse. They've got Chathams. They've got loads and loads of really good midfielders and forwards. That they're they're okay defensively. Southampton sort of keep themselves up um, through first half of the season. If that makes sense, they play really well in the first half of seasons. Um, they start to drop off in the second half, but they, they accumulate a lot more points in the first half of season. So. I can see Southampton um, finishing 11th. They'll struggle a little bit, but yeah, 11th sounds right. 10th uh, will be Leicester. I think Leicester are a great club. They won the league a couple of years ago, but last season they were really poor. They uh, And pre-season haven't been too great for them either. I just think that Leicester, you know, at the moment, with Vardy sort of toiling, you know, Madison not playing every game, you've got Ian Acho who scores when he likes. I mean, I don't know what's going on at that club, but they weren't the same last season as the 20-21 season. So normally Leicester would be a side that I'd put 7th, but based on last season, I think 10th, really. Do 
sorry, Leicester fans, but you had a really poor season last season, so I don't think I can put you any higher or lower than 10th. 10th. Uh, next up, I'm going to put the Seagulls. Yes, the Seagulls. Um, Brighton, good start to the season. A couple of hefty defeats to Manchester City. Um, um, lost to Liverpool, got a couple of results against Spurs and Arsenal. Um, had an alright season, but had a lot of defeats to some really average sides. Um, for example, they lost 3-0. On their own turf against Burnley, which was absolutely must have been absolutely embarrassing. I would have, as much as I support Burnley in a way, I like Burnley as a club. I'd still be absolutely peed off if I lost three nil on my at home to them. So yeah, they had they had some embarrassing results, but I think sorry, I think they'll just about squeeze a top ten position. Um, who else have we got left? Uh, let's put Wolves. Yeah, let's go Wolves in ninth. I think Wolves. Is that ninth? No, tenth. Ninth. Wolves eighth. Yeah, I think Wolves are a good club. Very good defensively. Most of last season they played well. Um, they managed to really. Not conceded many goals. They got the odd big result. Play good football. They beat United at Old Trafford. Yeah, they had an alright season. Wolves, I think they're a good team. Um, yeah, alright defensively. I think eighth, pretty much. Is what you'd all you what you'd always say about Wolves, in it really? I mean, they're not a bottom half team, and they're not any high, and then, and they're not really a top four team. Eighth sounds about right. Um, so we've got eighth. Right, let's go with seventh. This is a uh, this is getting a bit harder, but seventh, unfortunately, it's just got to be. Rubbish, United, awful season last season. I can really, I mean, if Ronaldo leaves, they are buggered. They'll, they'll they'll finish lower than seventh. United have got real problems at club, and as much as Eric Tar Ten Hag has come in, I can't see him fixing that team. They've got problems. I mean, you listen to the interviews. McTominay saying you've got to look at yourself in the mirror. Um, they. One of the most significant defeats for them was a 4-1 defeat at Vicarage Road to Watford. That really summed that team up, who they are. Now, back in their day, they were one of the best teams in the world, but now they've just got a bunch of clowns sat there running the club, and they've got players who don't really care and don't really have the ability to carry United back to the top again. And unfortunately, until they get new ownership, which is never going to happen because the Glazers treat them like a business, United, they're just going to sit there and continue to toil. No matter who, who's running the club, no matter what players are brought in. They brought Cristiano Ronaldo in last season, Ligue of Solskjaer. Did that change the club? No. They still didn't play, they still didn't do very well. They still lost 5-0 at Old Trafford to Liverpool. They lost 9-0 on aggregate to Liverpool, didn't they? They lost 3-1 at the Emirates. They lost 4-1 at Vicarage Road. Um, they lost at Goodison Park. Numerous defeats last season. And, and the season before, which summed up how bad this team is turning into early now. I mean, they finished second 
but they didn't bat well. And then you, you look at just think what the hell is this club. I'm surprised at how honest, I mean generous. The way that club's going, I really can't see them. Progressing up, see him going down. Uh, sixth, sixth Arsenal, yeah, sounds about right for me. It's harsh against my own team, considering we could have had third, we could have had fourth, we could have had fifth, but we had fifth. But European football is not our thing, and we showed that in the 2021 season. We finished eighth twice in a row, and that you know only we we only finished fifth last season and we only were in a top four battle because of no European football. This manager's not prepared his team. I don't think this manager is capable, nor is this team capable, of handling European football Thursday night and Sundays and winning most of those games and, and, and getting. A top four position, a spot at minimum. I don't think they're capable of that. I don't think we'll succeed under Mikel Arteta, no matter what. If we've got Gabriel Jesus, you know our squad depth is not that great. If Thomas Partey gets injured, we're screwed. If if Jackie gets injured, we're screwed. If one of the centre backs or one of the full backs gets set injured, we're pretty much screwed. Because Kieran Tierney's rubbish, Hector Bellerin's okay, Tommy Asu's alright, Cedric's alright, but you've got Kieran Tierney, Maitland Niles will probably go back on loan. You screw sixth for Arsenal, sixth. Uh, I'm gonna put West Ham in fifth. I I thought similar to what. Similar to Wolves, uh, Brighton and Southampton, really, last season, um, West Ham st had a really good first half of the season, but in the second half of the season, they just kept losing. They lost at home to Southampton, they lost at home to Leeds, they just kept getting poor results. And you, f and you were thinking, well, how's this happening to a team which was doing really well at the start of the season. Yeah. They dropped off last the second half of last season, West Ham. I'd like to put them higher, because they are a good team. But the second half of last season, after, you know, you can never be sure. I think they will get Europa League. I think they'll finish fifth. Moving on then to fourth, it's going to have to be Spurs. Yeah, it's pretty much predictable, isn't it, really? Spurs, never been a very good football club, not going to get a trophy. You know, Arsenal's biggest rivals, I hate them to bits. So I'm always going to put them fourth, I mean... They've made a couple of good signings. They've got a class manager in Antonio Conte. But you've got better teams like City, Liverpool and Chelsea. Um, so, in third place will be Liverpool. Who finished second last season. I think... The loss of Sadio Mane will affect Liverpool quite a bit. They've had a poor pre-season other than the Community Shield win against City. I think that third is just about right for Liverpool. Um, City to win the league. You know, three times in a row. Expected league winners, really. It wouldn't be a surprise if they won the league. And then... Second place, Chelsea. That's it. There you go, folks. 
Those are my Premier League predictions for 22-23. Uh, if you it, make sure you leave a comment down below on what you think. Um, tell me your thoughts. What changes would you make? And I'll see you tomorrow uh, when I upload my Premier League game week one predictions. Um, starting off. To, to really start off the new season before Friday night, you know, sort of like a season starter tomorrow. Just a quick Premier League predictions video um, tomorrow. Here's the table predictions. I've been me, you've been you. Cheers for watching. And come on, you gunners. Cheers, guys.